Look, it's pretty basic here. Stick with me. You learn from the guys that have been in country a while, you'll be all right. Ah, oh, the indelible role. It's Gary Sinise playing Lieutenant Dan, the Academy Award-winning movie, Forrest Gump. It's a role that forever changed his life. Playing a character sparked a deep passion for those who serve our country. He has a foundation that honors the nation's heroes. Actually, you started serving nation's heroes even before Lieutenant Dan. Well, I, I have uh, veterans in my family. I have uh, great respect for veterans, Vietnam veterans on my wife's side of the family. So they kind of uh, woke me up a little bit when I was uh, younger and as, as to what it was like to go and serve in Vietnam and then come home and have the nation kind of turn its back on them. So I felt a lot of compassion for them and started supporting our Vietnam veterans back in the 80s. And then I played the Vietnam veteran in, in Forrest Gump. That started me working with our wounded. Uh, that's 25 years ago. The movie wow. came out 25 years ago that's pretty uh, this summer. And all of that sort of kicked in in, in a greater uh, calling and a greater mission after September 11th and when we were attacked. And I just. I just wanted to do my part to, to support the men and women who are serving our country. Now it's, it's just a, turned into a full-on, full-service mission all the time. Well, I'll tell you what, the power of one, and I know you also have uh, so many under your umbrella. Uh, your memoir is so inspiring, and you've got a lot of friends in Hollywood who gave you a thank you. We wanted to show that. We're queuing. More than anything, thank you for everything that you do uh, for our warriors, our men and women all over the world. Obviously, I got to do a lot more to catch up to you guys. And just, you the man. Thanks, Lieutenant Dan. I just want to join. Everybody. Now, you saw this about a week ago when they showed you this, and it's long. We had to kind of narrow it down because there were so many people that wanted to say thank you. What was that moment like when you got to see this on a laptop? All of these people just telling you thank you and they're grateful I, for you. I was shocked yeah. by it. Uh, they really surprised me. They were going behind my back doing this and uh, and I had no idea. And to pull all that together right. with the number of people that were on that, that was a lot of logistical uh, support. You know, they were really pulling it together. And they, they totally shocked me and surprised me and I, I was very moved to see it, obviously, you know, just, I was in shock afterwards. Oh, we were pretty moved hearing about your backstory mm -hmm. as a child and how a woman who lives here in Nashville yes. really changed your whole life. She didn't live in Nashville at the time, but your old teacher, Barbara. Yes, yeah, my hi high school teacher, yeah, that, that's her there. It? That's Barbara Patterson in high school, and she was just this wonderful drama teacher. And she pulled me out of the hallway and said, come and audition for a play. She saw me and thought I looked right for West Side Story. Well, she thought you she, looked like a gangster. You were a gangster. Well, yeah. <laughs> gang member, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you know, thought I'd be a good gang member. So she put me in the show, and that changed the course of my life. Looking at this book, uh, you know, you say it's from self to service. What did you learn about yourself when you really started serving others? Well, it's... Um, you know, in, in the in, initially in the book, I, I started thinking about all these different things that I've done uh, over the past couple of decades to, to help our military out. And, you know, we build homes for our wounded and we support our Gold Star families. We entertain with the, mm -hmm. the music and we're doing things on in, in so many different spaces. And I've accumulated all this information and all these people that I've come in contact with and all this all the traveling and everything and I thought maybe I'd put that into a book and then I thought was said well the the bigger story is how I got to all that you know when I was focused on my acting career early on and just uh, building that and it, kind of the singular focus on my own self and career and that kind of thing and to this post-September 11th calling that I felt uh, to go out and support the men and women who served our country. And so it's an interesting journey, and I, I am a grateful American. There's, there's a lot, I, we've had a lot of bumps up and down and a lot of tough stuff that's in the book, but ultimately I'm very grateful to, to, to have been born in this country. I'm grateful to the men and women who serve this country. I'm grateful to the people who've inspired and helped me along the way. 
and I wanted to kind of put that down on paper. Now it's a book. Good. <laughs> We're grateful for you. Thank you for everything that you're doing with the Gary Sinise Foundation. For people that are interested and they want to help out and they want to know more, I know they can go online, but what are some of the other ways that you would encourage people to get involved to help our veterans? Well, I encourage people to look at GarySiniseFoundation.org mm -hmm. and, and what we're doing, but uh, also at the back of this book is a call to action list okay. of probably 30, 35 different organizations that I supported before I had my foundation. So there's a lot of people out there doing a lot of good work. I've learned from a lot of them. But in with regards to veterans, the first thing I always say is, you know, look, at, look for the veterans in your own community. Look for the military families that might need a, a little bit of assistance. They might have somebody deployed. They might have a, a wounded service member in their family. They might be a gold star family mm -hmm. missing a loved one and might need some assistance. If everybody in every community around this country and every town and city and state just took a little responsibility to pat these defenders on, our, on the back and, and take care of them, all those problems that we hear about with regards to our veterans falling through the cracks and right. things like that would be that would be eliminated. Well, we love your call to action. Absolutely. The book's incredible. You can get a copy of Gary's memoir, really, wherever books are sold. GratefulAmericanBook.com is another place you can go. You can learn more about his work with veterans and first responders, GarySiniseFoundation.org. Thank you so much for your time Thank today. You. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. So happy to have you here. I appreciate